Right guys, another mistake today. Uh, so just want to keep you up to date. Now I always try and point out my mistakes because uh, you're all, hopefully those people watching this video are inside the Natoru organization and that you're uh, hopefully following the things we're doing. So I want to make sure that we don't, as a school, start to push up the great bits, but ignore the bits where we fail. And you get this sort of fake master idea where people are like, oh, they never make mistakes and they don't, they walk perfectly. We're trying to get as real real as possible and keep to reality so you must always highlight your mistakes so basically i'm going to tell you today about uh the connection between scouting and the weather and sun tzu and our book and uh how it's actually really important for you to clock now i um nearly got cut off today by a river i nearly literally was unable to make my destination and had to walk back nearly 10 miles just because there was one section which i knew was open may not have been so what um what happens is uh, there's a connection between scouting military scouting in samurai times and they have to go out and they have to do two major things mm, three major things i would say three major things find the route okay find a route find places along that route so you can camp an entire army and make sure they're aware of uh, the weather and how that affects the route and where those people camp okay so they're the three main things a scout does because you know obviously there's, there's hundreds of things they do but th that's what they're doing they're finding the route they're checking where you can stay along the route and alternative routes and then basically it might look okay but what if it rains and i came across this today so i uh personally if a uh, journey is under 10 miles under 10 miles or under i don't by i don't get a taxi and i don't get a bus unless of course it's through a dodgy area or it's not really a place you can walk but uh, the rule of thumb is if it's 10 miles walk uh so my car's been in the garage for one week and uh it was time to pick it up they sent me a message come pick it up so i was like okay i'll set off early in the morning now i'd been watching we've been having a lot of rain here and here i'm a little bit higher than the town where the garage is so i'm here about eight or nine miles away give or take a bit of messing about is uh where the garage is now i'm higher they're lower now the river here at the weekend, my girlfriend was here at the weekend and she looked at the river. She's normally there in summer. So she goes, wow, it's gone up a bit. I says, no, that's only gone up a couple of feet. It can go up like 10 foot more. You know, it can really go up. So that was on Tuesday or Monday. It is now um, Friday. So within four days. So as a scout, I know my route. I know the route I'm going to take. I know the pathway. There's two routes to the town. I always take the back road because it's easier. It's longer, but it's easier to get round. There's less traffic and it's nicer walk. Uh, I started walking round. It's been raining galore. I've got all my waterproof kit on. I'm like, okay, am I prepped for the weather? So I've got my waterproof kit on. I've got my hat on. I've got waterproof stuff. Off I go. Do, 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 do I need my money to pay for the car? What else have I got? First error I made was I forgot to put a mask in. We're in the middle of COVID and all my masks are in the car. And I've got to go to the shop before I get to the car. So I hadn't quite worked it out right. So I ended up at the shop without a mask, which is frowned upon, obviously. And all the old people are running away from you. So I should have sorted that out, took an extra mask. And then, um, basically, I started realising, oh, the rain has come down a lot. Here, and the entire valley was flooded, which it does do sometimes. And when I get to the end, we're, we're in a valley. So for me to get to this town, I either go the, da the, the dangerous way on the road, meaning there's trucks going past, or I go the scenic route. But I go across the river, I pass the river, then pass the river back. And I didn't quite clock. So when I got to the other end, there's a there's so I'm going down this route. OK, and I'm, when I'm on this route, so let's bring this route in. As you get to a certain point, there's another split to go across the river. This is the one to keep you off the road. This is the road one. So I'm going round and I get to the bridge. I take my left, cross the bridge. I'm like looking at the end of the bridge. There's no end of the bridge. It's just water. There, and I'm, the tops of trees are coming out. I did take a video on my phone, but it won't transfer to this. And literally half the tree was just underwater so I'm, like, I'm not going that way am i so then i'm thinking oh sometimes they lock the bridge off i got to the other end and just i could get across it the bridge was probably about that much the water's rushing down it's going through the bridge and there's over spills and everything but sometimes they shut that road off which means i'd have been stuck and i'd have to walk back another eight or nine miles back without achieving my goal without getting to the shop for food i didn't have provisions with me i was like i'll just get to the shop at the other end it's only a 10 mile walk so failure i should have took food and water just in case i had to walk back because it's a long walk 20 miles when you sort of like not i've not had any breakfast i'd had one cup of tea in the morning that was it so it's quite a lot of 
walking to do. So, um, but luckily I got there and got across, but then get to the shop, no mask. So basically, we know, so our scouting stuff is in this, the Book of Samurai, Samurai Arms, Armour and the Tactics of Warfare, Natori Ryu, our scouting stuff is in there. But Sun Tzu's um, basic principles, right, his basic things are always consider uh, they're they're difficult for people to quite get so the first one is the way okay well, that's not in this situation but the second one is heaven now heaven you're like mm, what does that mean and earth so and then just to finish it off we've got should i have command the next one so yeah basically commander and organization so let's look at these two which is heaven and earth now the earth section so in in the reason I did this translation is because of this very thing is people go, oh, heaven and earth. We must. What does that mean? So in this situation, earth is the terrain, your route. So I know the route. I've already planned the route. I've scouted the route. The route, the terrain was fine. I was well aware of where I was going. But what I failed to take into account was heaven. In this context, in Sun Tzu's context, it is climate. And it is climate, the stars, night and day hot cold all of those things so basically i failed to take into account that it's been hammering down here that it's lower there and that that road is actually um prone to flooding and it can flood so if the valley's flooding out i should have turned around gone home and just got a taxi because it can go down the main road then as i say i don't like to walk down it where it's a bit dodgy wagons are going past and it's not the best experience so i should have done that but just on the off chance of luck only i could get across so there you go guys that was me knowing the route but not having the correct equipment i thought i did i was wrapped up i've got everything on cap on waterproofs uh waterproof pants even i'm there proper walking shoes you've got your equipment actually no i've got the equipment i need for the route i've planned but what if it changes i had to come back i should have put some food in should have put some magic there's enough water to be fair i could have found a drink anywhere there's bloody water everywhere um but my point being is i didn't prepare for coming all the way back because i literally would have got to my point and it's only pff, a few hundred meters that way but that once that road shut off with the river over it you can't get past you can't cross the river and that's exactly what samurai had to deal with crossing rivers and if they they had to make sure the seasons check the seasons and then what they what the scouts have to do so if you guys are there with scouting and shinobi so scouts on the whole lookout and the main shinobi getting further but basically what scouts have to do is check the weather they have to be well up on weather law and how to predict the weather so they're looking and they're like okay rain uh not a problem it should be all right but the rain isn't falling where you need to be. The rain is falling there. So actually, the rain falls all over. But what you're looking for is not rainfall in the area because that drains off further down. You're looking for rainfall up. So I'm here, but actually the mountains are here. So I'm about here. So coming down into flatland, going towards the coast. So it's been raining like mad. I should have been well aware that this was going to flood. And I didn't really pay attention to the climate. So I didn't pay attention to all Sun Tzu's virtues for my mission, which was get my car back. <laughs> there you go, guys. Make sure you've got a copy of this. Natoru people, you should be studying this. This should be dog-eared and literally written in all over you. Yeah? That's exactly what you should be doing now. So do crack on. Right, guys, I've got back, cup of tea time, and because uh, it's wet and cold.